Gordon will sometimes come in, you know, Tyrant, as you may know him, uh, will sometimes come into the office and go, hey, Mike, you know, I need a server in Sydney. You know, in fact, it's, we, he told me that just minutes ago. And so we're going to actually do that right now. So I'm going to show you how to bring up a brand new server for Crowfall on AWS. Now, way back in the day, I used to work on Ultima Online, uh, you know, a long, long, long time ago. And if we wanted to bring up a new server for Ultima Online in Sydney, Australia, we had to get a bunch of IT guys on a plane and send them to Sydney, Australia, and have them be there for a couple of weeks installing gear and configuring things. And it was this huge expense and a huge hassle for them. Well, let me show you how easy it is to do uh, right now. So we use something on AWS called Cloud Formation. And what Cloud Formation does is it lets you basically define your server infrastructure and then make copies of it. So here, let's do this. We're going to go over to Sydney and we're going to create a new stack. The stack is defined by this template file that I've created and it's really nothing special. It just defines a bunch of AWS systems like what kind of computer we want, how big is it, what kind of network do we want it to have, what kind of ports we want it to have open in, in its security group. Uh, so, you know, this took a little while to figure out and, and define, but once it is defined, it's something that all we have to do is just come over here and just enter a little bit of data in about the server that we want to create. All right, we're going to call this Ilara. And it's the fourth time we've done that in Sydney, so we're going to call it Ilara 4. And now I'm going to copy in just some kind of secret stuff that'll have to be blurred out for you. But now, down here, the instance type parameter, this is how big of a machine we want. So for example, you guys may have played on Malachi before. Uh, he's actually a four extra large, so he's really big and beefy. But if you're playing on something like Gaia or Arkin, that's only an extra large. And Sydney, we only need something that big. At least for now, until you get, you know, until all you Sydney people, you know, recruit a bunch of, you know, Crowfall players. All right, so we'll key in the server name. It's a development server, and we're just going to set the rest to defaults. I hit next. One last thing. We're going to give a key and a value that basically tells, that tells our system that this is, a, this is a game server for Crowfall. All right. Uh, and the reason we do that is it separates we also have our web servers up on AWS, and so you know our game servers and our web servers have different ways to identify themselves, and that's how that works. Okay, we're going to go through a last check. Everything looks good. Yes, I acknowledge I'm going to pay AWS some money. And there we go. So this process takes just, you know, maybe from, you know, from the time I hit that next button until the time it's ready to play Crowfall, probably about 15 minutes and then we can start playing.